Haiku Season 2, Episode 2. Doesn't matter. We don't care. I think I get it. It's a great time to sleep in preparation for volleyball. No thanks. <laughs> Literally running from school. I love it. I love you, both of you. I like the way Hinata thinks. You gotta know what to aim for. In this case, I'm guessing it's 60. It's important to have realistic goals in life. It's a smart goal. No, I'm, I don't want this. I don't want, I don't want this school arc. Get back to volleyball. All volleyball all the time. Skip. Skip. I'm saying this as a joke, of course, but like, at the same time, they're getting so much out of their lives in volleyball. Like, it probably is more useful than what they're doing in school. I mean, I can't say that for sure. It depends on the student and what they're learning and what they want for their futures. They might be learning foreign languages, which is great. But just in terms of what matters to me, I don't think anything really compares to what they're doing on the volleyball field, battlefield, volleyball court. There it is. They are like tapped into the veins of life itself. They are becoming gods walking this orange tinted earth. <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing just fine. So what does that tell you? He's coaching the greatest group of humans that ever lived. I'd say he made it. Doubled? Okay, it must be at a 10. Every show I'm watching now is go going through a dark arc. My Hero Academia, Total Destruction, Haikyuu, uh, Tests. <laughs> Similar feeling. But Daichi always rising above, never shying away from a challenge. No cut corners. One of the many reasons I love and admire him. It's still kind of hilarious to me that the second season added a whole bunch of female characters, or probably will at some point. I feel like there was probably, I don't know, some kind of test demo, some kind of group survey that determined that. Episode 2, Direct Sunlight. He's got their number. I feel like it's been established. But I don't remember who gets good grades and who doesn't. I know it's not Hinata. And rumor has it they have a new player named Hi Levi that is a parallel for our characters, perhaps. Pretty much. Pretty much. Wow, that took a lot of guts. Asking Suki for help. Especially from Kageyama. Just swallowed their pride for this. There it is. Never missed an opportunity to take a shot at Kageyama. Waiting for the Suki Kageyama Brotherhood arc. That's gonna be fun. Well, I was just saying that in the OVA, it was nice to see them have a non-volleyball thing for once. Here it is. Would have rather had a beach episode, but here we are. She's also a third year. Respect. One thing that gives me a little bit of comfort is that the third years... Ooh, that's nice. As much as the third years love this team in volleyball, I feel like they'll pop in, you know, they'll come in and check check up on the team now and then, like some of the other graduated students have done. What is a passing score? Most Japanese tests. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just categorically, they just cannot do it. Yeah, I mean, the difference is probably just their emotional investment and love for it. If you love something, you just dive into it can't stop yourself work is just play it feels like play that's when you know you're on the right track exactly right. they just don't care i mean this is just work for them it's an obstacle there's just no connection to it i've been going to this sort of meetup thing that's for like freelancers or people who have kind of self-generated streams of income and we were talking about various things and what appealed to us and one of the points i made was that discipline is amazing you know like it's such a powerful force if you can control yourself and can reliably and consistently sit yourself down and do it you can accomplish anything and that's great if that's what's necessary right so nothing against that but i also feel like if that's what it takes if it's 
it takes forcing yourself into something and it's a struggle and you face a lot of resistance to do something, it might just be a sign that you haven't found that thing yet. I think it's important not to do nothing waiting for the thing to come along that moves you, right? But it's still information. You know, your, your brain is giving yourself feedback about the alignment of something. There were two examples I gave for myself. One was stocks and the other was YouTube, where like, I never have to make time for stocks. In fact, I have to tear myself away from it. There's not enough time in the day to satiate my need to dig into specific elements of the stock market. And so in that light, I'm always or was always going to beat someone who tells themselves I should learn about stocks, but really doesn't have that feeling behind it, the joy behind it. YouTube as well, when I started YouTube for a while, you know, I was getting five views per video or so, something like that. But what I found out almost immediately was that I couldn't not do it. And in that light, I think the ultimate combo is when you have both, you know, when you have that passion, plus you have the discipline and you have the structure. That's when you're just a monster, which these kids have for volleyball. It doesn't mean at all that the brute force method is wrong. You know, it's essential for certain tasks. You can't always be doing things all the time that are 100% a perfect fit, right? But I think that that's at least a phenomenon worth exploring and thinking about. Also in that conversation, one interesting idea we came up with was one thing you often find associated with that kind of passion is imagery. You, you, tell yourself a narrative about what you're doing that makes you feel excited to think about. And one example of that was someone who does both Airbnb arbitrage and management. He was thinking that every time he gets a new property, he's collecting a piece of the earth, which I thought was so cool. Like just hearing that, it brought me to life. And I have similar conceptions for stocks. So I don't know. They need to find something. Here's a thought. They can connect it to volleyball because volleyball is always the answer all the time. Oh, or competition. That's not bad either. There it is. There it is. We found some emotion. もっと男らしく生きろ。乗りよう。運中から抜き出せって書いてあんじゃん。問題も乗りようも無数だよ。野谷さん、かけ。That's funny cuz I was thinking the same thing. 大丈夫。大丈夫。Okay, okay. Who? She rides a either a motorcycle or a Vespa, Haruka style. It's his sister. And she's a college student. That's why she can drink. What role will she play on the volleyball team? One of the most moving performances I ever saw, like a student group led thing or festival or whatever, was a taiko performance at an American university. That's sweet of him, to think about Kema like that. Just for that thought to have occurred to him is really touching. Lukewarm response incoming. That was nice. Oh, what? Have we seen his, his sister before? I don't remember. <laughs> and then super passionate message from Pinata. Yeah, so he must be a little bit difficult to live with, perhaps. He's a lively one. Damn, Tanaka. Well, there's never any doubt about that. They don't lack for discipline, speaking of which. They have all of it. Beautiful. Sorry. And, and then there she is, and I... And now realizing, I thought both girls were the same person. So she she can't drink. Tanaka's sister can drink. Who can drink? Those are the important questions we all have. Is there anyone that doesn't fall in love with her? Hitoka. She lucked out. Poor Asahi, he's such a sweetheart, but people have the wrong read of him all the time. Didn't people think he like killed some gangsters or whatever? Yeah, it's a lot of energy to walk into. It's just a room full of intense energy. But yeah, she lucked out. There never was a batch of better men. <laughs> Everyone doing their part. <laughs> They're always so moved by her, just, you know, her tasks. <laughs> Admittedly, seems like a possible threat. <laughs> I feel like she and Hinata will get along. I can just feel it. 
あの子ごくみって言ってたから勉強得意かもよそうか Time to get acquainted 昨日のバレー部の自己紹介されたっけ名前名前なんだっけ一度聞いた名前も覚えられないなんて Tell me about it 名前も覚えられんのか Relatable Ouch, I feel attacked. <laughs> yep. That's what happens. Try watching a series on YouTube that involves 8,000 characters with Japanese names. Someone tells me that'll be doable. <laughs> this is weird. You know, you sometimes get attracted to weird qualities that don't seem important. <laughs> One thing for me <laughs> in my school days was girls who have great handwriting. Don't ask me why. <laughs> you can write on Hinata's notebook anytime. I see you, Hinata. <laughs> me and Hinata, maybe on the same page. I prefer to be jumping. A lot. Right? <laughs> this girl. Speaking of relatable. Yeah, with the amount of characters introduced, this is gonna take a while. She's just me. She's just me. Yeah, I know. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of information, but it's worth it. Oh, oh no, I knew it. Oh no, oh no. And she's not doing this intentionally, so... She's gonna not like this memory later. There it is. That's true. Was that... That was an interesting shot. That was like her really seeing him for the first time. Is this a love interest? Could be. Maybe I was right about them getting along in a different way. Or it could just be respect. You could not have picked a better sentence. You just cut right to his core. <laughs> and they were best friends forever. She seems sweet. Very, very, what's the word? I want to say conscientious, but she's like an intense... Thinker, overanalyzer. That is great news? Is that passing? How hard are Japanese exams? Yeah, great coach Anizuko over here. Yeah, I don't think she knows. Of course she doesn't know. I didn't know before I started the series. Just how much this team will mean to her. And there it is. Oh, this is starting into something. Just so used to it. Look at her, Kyoko doing normal human things, like breathing. Yeah, speaking of seniors that I want to be there for a victory, it would be cool if she could witness one as well. Into the game. Into a game. That's a really interesting thing to say, and I love it. Yeah, if they can use that as a force that they put behind them to push them forward, powerful stuff. Welcome to the team. Welcome to Karsuno. All right, so all jokes aside about me not wanting the, the school arc, that actually was pretty great. It feels really nice to see them, like, live their lives and be kids. And then we also, of course, get the introduction of two new characters. One of them who seems like she's going to be really important. I kind of like what they did with her in this episode. I don't know if it was a meta joke or a deliberate opportunity, but in a sense, she's the audience, or she's probably a lot of the audience who start Haikyuu, right? She has no idea. No idea what she's getting into. Doesn't know the positions of volleyball. Is not prepared to learn 40,000 
Japanese names, first and last names at that, but it's going to be blown away. And there's something about it that's kind of cool that I think is probably similar to reaction videos. You know, it's like when you watch something for the first time and you feel a certain emotion, you can relive it by watching someone else go through those same emotions or have that same experience. It's like a new way to feel invigorated about something that you love. I feel like watching her, I get that same thing, if that makes sense. I get to watch her fall in love with the characters of Haikyuu, which adds a certain special element to it. It's a nice feeling. And I think now with all the pieces in place and us properly motivated, we start going into games, at least exhibition games, on our road to the spring tournament.